Hi Leos. Hi my babes. My Leo gang gang. My Leo family. What's up y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in tonight on this reading for Leos. Next 24 hours is the title. Make sure if you are new, first of all, welcome. Where's my manners? Welcome to Brooklyn Nights 1111 Tarot. Make sure that you hit the big red subscribe button. It would really be it would it would really be so appreciated. Make sure you hit the all notification bell so you can get all of the uh, notifications. All right, you will be notified every time I upload a video for you guys. Okay. shuffling out right we're gonna cut and see what's going on with my leos for the next 24 hours how you doing how you doing if you want to leave me um <clears throat> side note if you want to leave me a donation in my cash app the description is i mean the link is down below on my cash app you'll find either the link or my cash app down below if you want to leave me a donation thank you guys so much for all the donations that you have sent to me i really appreciate that i'm so happy and grateful that you guys are joining a part of my family being a part of my team all right don't forget to subscribe okay i'm gonna say it one more time before we close out and let's get into your reading so how you doing leos how you doing how you doing? <laughs> uh oh. Okay. All right. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Now. You have the Queen of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you you cut this person off or they cut you off. Or you're just strictly, for some of you, cutting off people, places, and things that no longer serve your highest good, okay? And it could be someone from your past. This could be an ex or a childhood friend. I feel like somebody wants your forgiveness, though. I feel like they um, are reminiscing about you, reminiscing about the past. Uh-huh. This person feels like you're their twin flame. You're their, are you with their manifested with the 1111 card? I do feel like this person wants to offer you a proposal. Okay, but I do feel like for some of you, you cut this person off and you're very happy. You have a lot of peace in your home. You have a lot of joy. I feel like you've been celebrating. Uh, I feel like you've been going out to a, a birthday party or a baby shower or a housewarming or this is um, uh, your house. Okay, I feel like this is a very beautiful home here. I feel like um, someone wants a second chance, okay, with the judgment card here. Someone wants to revive things with you, but I feel like um, you're making the final judgment call, okay? This is someone you are in a relationship with, with the Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? I feel like you guys had a um, soulmate connection or a soul tie. I feel like you guys, are, at one point, um, you were seeing eye to eye, okay, or you guys are seeing eye to eye um, on the same page, okay? Everything is good between you guys. This may be a new connection for some of you. This is the next 24 hours, okay? Okay. And I do feel like... For some of you, you are focused on your pentacle right here. You are focused on your on your money. Okay, I feel like you are very committal, okay, and very loyal. Okay, and that's who you were to this person. You're very loyal and committed. But I feel like nowadays you're you're more stable and grounded and focused more on your pentacle. Okay, you could have earth prominent in your chart. Or this person is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. It does not matter gender in this tarot. 
I feel like you're going to get everything that you want. Okay, I do feel like your wishes are going to be coming true here. And I do feel like you're going to be happy and content. For some of you, I feel like this person is happy and content with the way things are. But I do feel like um, you're very happy right here. For some of you, someone is in a relationship with... Uh, someone that is providing for them financially, okay, and I feel like this person is entertaining other people online with the Nine of Cups energy, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, I feel like this is somebody's wife, um, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, maybe this person is entertaining other people online, okay, or this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is, let's see, let's clarify, because I don't want to, there's a lot of stories up in here, why judgment here, it's interchangeable, this is general, take it how it resonates, okay, if it resonates with you, then it do, okay, <laughs> it may resonate with someone, look, now look, it may resonate with someone around you, someone in your energy, take it how it resonates, you know your situation better than I do, I'm just here to read your energies for the next 24 hours, okay? Why judgment here? Okay, now you give me two cards. Well, look, the four of cups is on top, so I'm not going to take that seven of cups. I do feel like with the judgment call, you are rejecting this person. You're making a final decision to uh, reject this person with the four of cups energy, okay? Because in the past, I felt like this person has really been rejecting you over and over and over and over again. You know, every time you offer offer them something, they will reject you. So I feel like you're rejecting them, and they don't like that, okay? They're feeling like they are stuck, not knowing what to do, okay? I feel like this person may be bored, okay? Because they see you so happy and so peaceful and having fun in your element in your home, right? And they want a second chance from you. They want a second chance, but I feel like, you're making a final judgment call to reject them. Yeah, because this person was a player, okay? They coming in hot and heavy with the Knight of Wands uh, energy. This person has, uh, I feel like they have fire in their chart. Oh, this is you. Um, I feel like nothing is going to stop you from your goals. Whatever you're rushing towards, okay? You're, you're rushing passionately towards your goals and nothing is going to stop you. Nobody's going to get in your way, not even this person, okay? And it's going to bring a brand new beginning for you here. A lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a bonus, a promotion, a new home, a new car, anything of value. So let's clarify this two of cups. There's a, a connection here, soulmate connection. You two see eye to eye. There's reciprocated love here, Okay. You guys could be making some type of exchange in gifts. Like I said, I feel like this is a new connection for some of you because this person has already been rejected right here. So now we're moving on. Why are the two of cups here? Clarify the thank you. No two cards came out. Okay, I only need one. There you go, Leo. Very happy in this energy. This is your card, the sun card, okay? I do feel like you're having fun with this person. Um, this person makes you happy. You make them happy. But I do feel like for some of you, this person, it's like when they got into a connection with you, you brought the light back into their life. Okay? And you brought the passion back in. Because I feel like in the past, this person was really lacking the passion. And so you're bringing their sexual energy out of them, okay? Alright, Leo, this is you, Aries or Sagittarius, you could be dealing with. But I feel like there's a lot of potential for growth between the two of you here. There's a lot of potential and a lot of passion. A lot of passion. There's a lot of fire in here. We ain't even get to the Queen of Pentacles yet. Okay, but it is... Um, for some of you, someone here is married, okay, because this is a spouse, the queen of pentacles, this is a wife, okay, someone is getting ready to walk away from this person, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, okay, this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with, alright, 
but I do feel like why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Only one. I got it's, look, it's three, and I only need one. I need one. Okay, for some of you, um, this person was this person was providing for you financially, and um, you two were living together, sharing resources, property, and um. This, cousin, this this person may have cut you off. Or you may have cut this person off. I feel like though. This is this also. For some of you. This could be someone you work with or do business with. That you cut off in the workplace. But I do feel like for some of you. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your stability. You're focused on your home. Your family. Your children. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you don't have time for this person. And you're cutting out people, places, and things out of your life that no longer serve you because I feel like you're getting it in your grounded energy. You're very committal, uh, stable, and loyal. Okay, you're too loyal for this person. Okay, so you're cutting their asses off. All right, because I feel like for some of my Leos, you have been providing for this person financially. Okay, you might have been taking care of all the bills, pay, buying all of the food. Okay, um, just spending all the money. And now I see you putting your money away into a secret account that this person doesn't know about. Or um, you're just focusing on your money. Okay, and I feel like you're cutting people, places, and things off that no longer serves you. Yeah, because this person was sneaky. That's why this person was so sneaky. They had sneaky energy. And I feel like they're going to try to sneak back in. But this person has bad intentions. Okay, air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I do feel like this person lied to you. Was trying to get away with something. Being very manipulative. And I feel like um, for some of you Leos, you're looking for an escape. You're trying to get away from this person. I do feel like um, for some of you, you're actually running from this person, okay? Really trying to escape. For some of you, um, like I said with the Nine of Cups, you're going to get everything you want regardless. You're going to get everything you want, okay? Because that's how Leos do, okay? Your wishes are going to come true, okay? You're going to feel... A lot of wish fulfillment here. A lot of satisfaction. You're going to be very comfortable. Okay. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Clarify the Nine of Cups for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Leo. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Yeah, you're comfortable in your element, Leo, and you're counting your blessings, showing gratitude to the universe. And someone here cannot move on from you. It's someone wanting to return, something like that. You know, somebody can't move on from you. This air sign, yeah, this person could be all up in their head about things, replaying things over and over again in their mind, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling blocked. Okay, oh, this is this person uh, in mental prison or in actual prison, okay, and I feel like if they are in jail, they're facing their tower moment right here, okay, something destruct destructive and chaotic happened, okay, this was a sudden shake up or break up for some of you, and I feel like you shook this person out of their damn boots, that's what you did, Leo, okay, why the six of swords here in reverse, clarify the six of swords here in reverse, Hold on one second, y'all. But I do feel like for some of you Leos, you are comfortable and you're not talking to this person with the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, with the Gemini energy, this person is um trying to manifest you back into their life. They feel as though they have all the tools to, manif to manifest you back into their life. They can't move on. And I feel like this person is spying on you. Okay, this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone has air in their chart. I feel like this person may be spying on your social media, trying to figure some things out about you. This person may also be um, trying to um, do research on you. But I do see they're spying on you, and um, it could be a social media. I, I feel like they do see you're in another connection, Leo, okay? And I feel like this person wants to... 
reciprocate love with you now because they feel like um, you are their soulmate and you know you two have a connection and they want to put in the work and put in the effort but I do feel like this is a new connection that they see that you're in because they're spying on you and it's like an equal give and take and they see they see you working on something yeah, they saw this on your social media, like a project you're working on. You're working, doing something, okay? And they're watching. Why is the Page of Swords? Give me one more card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yes, they know you're in a new connection because they've been spying. Whatever you've been posting or whatever pictures you've been posting on uh, Facebook. I was about to say Instagram. Um... They're looking at that, and they're trying to gain the strength, okay? Um, because right now, they're holding themselves back from you. They're pulling their energy back, which um, they're trying to find the strength. They're trying to have strength, okay? Because I feel like they're starting to realize that a cycle is closed out between you and them, and you're um, starting a brand new cycle, okay? This could be Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo, okay, and I see you traveling, I see, um, you know, you just closing cycles out, okay, and this person, they shook, they is shook, okay, they're like, oh no, what am I gonna do, my hands is tied, they conflicted within, they're like, oh my god, they fighting with themselves, oh my god, why, I love this person, this, this person is so obsessed with you. They feel bound to you. They have a sexual addiction to you. And they're feeling defeated. Because you're sitting in your power. And you listen to your intuition. Okay? And I feel like this person is reminiscing about you. Asking for forgiveness. But you're done with them. You are done with them. Wow, you are done with this person. That is great, Leo. That concludes our reading for the next 24 hours. Don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit the all notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the videos. I upload for you, my beautiful lions, my beautiful Leos, okay? To my subscriber gang, 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 gang. Thank y'all so very much for all the love and support. I do appreciate that. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. If you would like to leave me a donation, okay, my cash app is in the description down below. I really do would appreciate that. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye Leos.